everyone. Welcome to Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota, located off of Lake Superior. I'm Haley, and today I get to show you the 2023 Leprechaun 260 DS. We're gonna start on the outside, work our way on the inside, and then you can let us know what you think. Let's have a look. So, starting out, you do have a nice front end. It does come with side cameras. It does also have a backup camera as well. We will show you nice, long, extended arm for your um, reverse mirror or side mirrors as well. So, I am now going underneath the gigantic awning, which is really fantastic for outdoor use. Now, there is a TV on the outside, and I did point this out on another one. You may think, okay, this is maybe a little bit on the shorter, smaller side. However, when you're sitting in your camping chair, you're gonna be more level with where that TV is at. So, really great for outside entertaining. We're gonna work our way on the inside in just a moment. That is your hot water heater. That's for your furnace outtake outlet here so you can always plug in that pizza pizzazz or maybe the waffle maker or whatever you're looking to do extra little bit of storage very nice that they put that laminate flooring in there really helps out because sometimes you're putting things into storage that are a little bit bleh. okay so on the back so you do have great reverse lights which will help when you use your backup camera because then you'll be able to really have a good view of what you're um not going to back up into so down here you do have a hitch receiver access into the back part of the storage ladder that goes all the way up to the roof so then that way you're able to access that clear off some of that debris maybe this time of year for us it's clearing off some of that snow all right i'm going to duck underneath this slide here so this is the other part of that large storage in the back. You have these nice, they're plastic, so they're, you're not gonna get them all dirty or yucky. Um, what's nice is that they dip in, so it's like a drop down or drop frame storage. So then you have better access into that. Don't trip on the power cord. Make a note to myself. Walking on through, so this is your TV connection for your cable there this is an outside shower it'll have hot and cold water so if you're um, camping or RVing with maybe pets or kids and they need to be rinsed off um, rinse off the bikes too but the hot and cold water really helps with um, the pet and child situation so this may look like it's gonna be storage however it is actually access to service your refrigerator which is really super helpful down underneath, I'm not going to quite crawl that far, but you do have access to your um, generator, your propane tanks, and then a little bit of storage as well. Around into the driver's side, point out the side camera on this side as well. It maybe we're gonna, I'm gonna point this out. I know we kind of went past it. But here is a, it's a spout, so it's kind of like a gutter on your house. So as you can see, some water is dripping off because it was winter or is winter here. Um, and snow melts and things melt and water drips on off. But what that does is it drips that water away from your RV so that water isn't going right down onto that RV, maybe causing some issues or some streaking. Really nice and handy. Okay, let's move on into the inside. We're gonna pause for a moment as we work our way in. I did this on this last one too. So here are your controls for your auto level system. That is for your um, generator. You can start it, stop it, prime it, all that good stuff there. This is a child seat anchor. So if you are traveling with little ones and they need to be in that car seat, forward facing, which is a great spot here, you're forward facing, but then you can anchor it down into this spot. So it only has the one anchor, but sometimes that's all you need. Moving on over to the other side, you have your battery disconnect. It is wired for solar, and then it has some of your lights right away and your awning control right here. So you're able to flip those on as you work your way into your RV. So working our way in, we are going to start out in the living area. So, 
as you move your weight in, you can see this here has somewhat of a U-shaped dinette. So one fun thing, and I'm gonna move that over. One fun thing about this dinette is that maybe you don't want that full U-shaped or you want this seat to swivel around and still be a part of the conversation and part of the party. This cushion comes up. You can put that wherever that's needed. That slides in nice and easy. And now you have a little bit more movable space there, which is great. Moving on into the cockpit area, you do have a um, monitor system. Your backup camera goes right to your rear view mirror. So it looks as if you're looking in the rear view mirror, but you're really looking outside um, through the backup camera, which is really kind of cool. Uh, when you get in, this, is very much so if you've ever driven a pickup this is very much so the same type of a feel it's just a little bit longer um maybe a little bit heavier a little bit more than what you're used to this ceiling here can come up and be popped open and this is then stored up above so we'll show you that in just a moment but these sometimes people get a little intimidated um I'm not quite five feet tall and I have helped park and drive one of these. And if I can do it, you can do it too. So this is what I was referring to. This can go up over in. Your ladder is stored up here as well, um, which hooks on just right here. Your TV is on a nice big arm that can swing out. So the people on the couch have a nice view or the people who are there. Reading lights on either side, nice cute little window, able to, stare into the night sky as you're laying down for your camping trip. So this is your couch. This does also come down into additional sleeping area just like the um, dinette does. This has the arms on the side here with your cup holders on either side. So you're able to keep your cups there. Um, it does have seat belts. So if people are traveling here, those cup holders really come in handy because there's not really another place to put um, beverages as you're traveling down the road. So shifting gears into the kitchen area, you have a nice large 12 volt refrigerator and freezer. It's a little dark in there at the moment but storage, the storage goes really far back. I don't, I could almost fit my, I can't even touch the back, so I can fit my whole arm in there. Same for this one below. And then also more storage there. So you do have a, an oven and a three burner stove also comes with a convection microwave. So if you're not maybe wanting to use your oven, you can use your convection microwave. It does bake just like an oven. So a really handy multi-purpose um, unit. Space underneath the sink, a little bit there, and space here with nice pull-out drawers. Now I'm gonna sneak this way so you guys can get a nice good view. Nice big deep sink. Pull down faucet, very handy. Just drip some antifreeze because it is winterized. Flip up countertop gives you just that little bit more extra space that you might need. Power tower with a couple of 110 outlets and USB plugs. Behind me here you have, and I'm gonna step up so you guys, these are always so hard, okay. Now this is access into the closet area. So there is access also in the bedroom to this same area there. Lots and lots of storage, lots of space. Okay, so moving on into the bedroom. This does have a pocket door. So you do have privacy, but it's not swinging open and blocking things off, which is really handy. So moving on in, this opens the opposite direction. So I maybe, there we go. Okay, these magnets are really tight and really strong. Very good reason for that is so if you have things inside this and you're going down the road and maybe you to make a corner, 
turn, hit a bump, and something goes and bumps up against this, it's gonna take a lot of force for that door to open. So that's why they make these um, very strong magnets or the latches really strong so you don't have things flying all over your camper, which is really handy. So moving on into the bathroom, this is a nice, it's a full bath, so it's not a wet bath, and a Class C is really handy. So you have your porcelain toilet. You can hear it better if I use my ring. Extra little space, so if you needed more bathroom counter space, there is storage along the side there. Towel rack, nice sink. I'm going to switch gears over here. Your shower. And it does have a bit of a domed ceiling, so you have a little bit more space, headroom up into that. Um, towel racks, towel hooks there. So very nice, very nice bathroom for a Class C. Okay, moving on in. So one of the things that people are going to ask when it comes to the bedroom um, bathroom situation is, can I access my bathroom while that slide is in? So this... Um, motorhome has two slides, one in the living area and then also one in here. So how this works is this mattress actually flips up like this and then this whole slide comes in up to this area here. So this bathroom door can still open and you can still access your bathroom while the slide is in as you're, not as you're driving down the road, but as you're making your trip to wherever your destination is and maybe you need to stop, make a sandwich, use the facilities and that's all you need to do. You don't necessarily wanna to have to put that slide out to do that. You are able to do that in the 260 DS, which is really key. So moving on over, I'm gonna flip this cause it's gonna be easier for me to access the storage up here. You do get a nice counter space as well, so you can put your water bottle, your glasses, maybe you can put your CPAP machine there. If you do have a need for an extra outlet, we do have a 12 volt plug-in, USB, and 110 outlets there as well. So let's just take one more look through this entire motorhome. There you guys have it. This is the 2023 Leprechaun 260 DS. I'm Haley Johns. If you'd like to work with me on this unit or any other unit in our inventory, give me a call, 218-740-4997. And don't forget, I'm willing to go the extra mile to help you camp in style. Have a great day.